Now in this lesson, we are going to look at how to use the p-value to make decision. Okay. Now, before you can make a decision, it is very important to know uh, the decision rule. Okay. And the decision rule says that whenever you want to make decision, you are going to compare the p-value and the level of significance. Okay. You are going to compare the p-value and what and the level of significance. Now, when you compare them, if the p-value is less than or equal to alpha, alpha is the level of significance, okay? If the p-value is less than or equal to alpha, then you reject HO. HO is the null hypothesis. You reject it. That is a decision. But if the p-value is greater than alpha, then you fail to reject the null hypothesis, which is H O H naught. Okay, H naught. What this means is that if you have a p-value which is less than alpha, you should reject the null hypothesis. Or at times, even if, if it's equal to the alpha, you should still reject it. But when, whenever you have the p-value being greater than alpha, then you fail to reject the null hypothesis. Or we say, we do not reject the null hypothesis. Fail to reject means do not reject. That's how you make the statement. So let us use this decision rule to work this particular example. So example one, given that the p-value p equals 0 0.0307, and the level of significance is 0 0.05. What will be your decision? Now, in this particular one, the p-value 0 0.0307. We want to compare the p-value and the significance. What is the significance? 0 0.05. What is the relationship between them? The relationship between them is that, the inequality relationship between them is that this particular one, 0 0.0307, is lesser than 0 0.05. So it's less than 0 0.05. But if you refer to the decision rule, we say if P is less than or equal to alpha, we should reject HO. So therefore, your decision, decision is to what? Reject A2. That is a null hypothesis. You reject A2. Okay. Now let's go to example 2. Example 2 says that the p value for a hypothesis test is p equals 0 0.0129. What is your decision if the level of significance is 0 0.01? So answer. Now, to answer this, we are going to compare the p-value and the level of significance, isn't it? So what is our p-value? 0 0.0129. And what's the significance? 0 0.01. The level of significance, alpha. Okay. The relationship between them is that this 0 0.0129 is more than, that's greater than 0 0.01, isn't it? This is greater than this. So since this is greater than this, it satisfies this principle that when P is greater than alpha, we should fail to reject HO. So therefore, your decision is fail to reject HO. So that will be our decision for this particular question. So that's the answer. You can see all these in MCQs. Now let's look at example three. In example 3, they said the computed z-score for a left-tailed hypothesis test is z equals negative 2.10. What is your decision if the level of significance is 0 0.01? Now here, we were not given a p-value. We are only given the significance. So this should tell you that since you don't have the p-value, you need to actually find the p-value using the z before you can make a decision. So let us first, in our previous lesson, 
we learned how to find a p-value isn't it so first of all let us find a p-value then we compare it to the significance to make a decision so so to find a p-value as we did in the previous lesson you sketch a curve isn't it this is a left tail test isn't it so left now since this is a left and this place is negative 2.10 we quickly check on the z table on the standardized z table now on the standardized z table we are looking for negative 2.10 isn't it so this is negative 2.10 so negative 2.10 you get 0 0.0179 isn't it so since you've gotten 0 0.0179 there is a zero before the point, just that it is not written. So 0 0.0179. So it means area to the left. So 0 0.0179. That is the p-value. So here, the p-value is equal to 0 0.0179. Isn't it? Then we compare it. So 0 0.0179. And the level of significance, 0 0.01. What is the relationship? The case is that this particular one, the p-value is greater than this. 0 0.0179 is greater than 0 0.01. So it's more than it. Greater than. And the decision rule states that if p is greater than alpha, that's the level of significance, you fail to reject what? HU. So the decision is to fail to reject HO. We fail to reject HO. Okay, or we can say do not reject HO. Okay, do not reject HO. So there is not enough evidence to reject HO. So that is the end of this. Thank you.